We're a very dynamic charity. We keep on changing. Uh, we're very flexible and can change quickly to the needs of young people. We've also been uh, diversifying our in income streams, so I'm now working with a lot more businesses around Southampton and across Hampshire, trying to get them to support us in a variety of different ways. I do a lot of social media and blogging, uh, websites, uh, tweeting, Facebook, and again that's really great for raising the profile of No Limits in Southampton and across Hampshire. We've had some really good results. We will continue with our core delivery which is our drop-ins which is really really important our free drop-ins within Southampton our health and promotion drop-ins in the schools and our counselling work there are sort of our, our main things that we do with young people so whatever happens whatever economic problems we have we will continue to do those two essential pieces of work for young people. So I'm the full-time city drop-in worker um, so I'm here every day on the drop-ins in that city this is where I'm based and it's just welcoming young people in, talking to them about any issues, literally ranging from homelessness, substance use, um, benefit, help and advice, um, to CV building. I think it's a really exciting time to, to be involved in the events, it's definitely expanding. We're about to start a new contract with our drugs project and that's going to start on 1st December. We're going to start opening up our opening times at the drop-ins on Saturdays, like, uh, young people to access our drop-ins more easily, more frequently. Um, so I would definitely say that No Limits is on the rise. It's definitely improving and increasing, but that's for the good. And, you know, new staff, new students, new volunteers, it's definitely a good change. As an organisation, the Exchange, um, we, we raise money, uh, which we like to give out to the local community, and this was one of the projects we thought very worthy of a, of a donation, so we've got the sleeping bags that we brought down today, uh, and we've helped down here in the past in such a, a great organisation, uh, helping anybody under the age of 26. We sit down with our board meetings, don't we, and you know, when we manage to accumulate some funds, we, we sit and decide how we're going to distribute the, those funds, and uh, No Limits was one that was a, a suggestion some time back. As Matt said, we've previously sort of supported the charity, and uh, you know, having come in and seen what all the guys here are doing, uh, we wanted to do something else again, and hence being here today to, uh, to support the cause. These guys work really, really hard to raise money for charity and put, put it back into the community and it's, that's what it's all about. Our remit is to help support and information, advice, counselling for young people under 26. There's no kind of, it's going to be this, or this subject or, or this, it's just anything. I mean they have as much right to a really good service as anybody else. So I think it's vital that the centres look nice, that we're well presented, that the information's correct, and that young people feel valued. Actually, if young people get used to asking for help at an early age, and we get a really good response, and not just from a teacher and not just from their parents, then they're more likely to ask for help as they get older. Because I think people want to get involved, but sometimes they're not quite sure how to. And so I think it's fantastic that we're saying, you know, if you do want to help us, then, then please do. You know, we're here to help, nurture, support children and young people um, and a lot of our businesses want the same thing and the, um, you know, the people working there want the same thing so it's just really nice to be associated with that to show that you know, they want to help and nurture as much as we want to help and support. So I'm Alice, I'm a team leader for No Limits. Um, I'm team leading the early help team, so the brief interventions of drugs and alcohol. We look at peer pressure saying no, we look at advertising, marketing, um, and we've realised a really good way to get young people to think about their drinking. What young people don't want to do is be told what to do. So when we talk about how marketing is directly advertised towards them, directly sort of pointed at them, then they reconsider um, how, how they're being influenced by, by the marketing of alcohol. The good thing with No Limits is like a lot of the young people they recognise our colour branding, they recognise us, they reckon, you know, they've heard of us through Southampton and you know I've I've been in Southampton you know a number of years and doing this and it's very rare I've talked to a young person who's not heard of No Limits. You know, they might not know all the services we offer but they've they've heard of us and uh, yeah, so the longer we can stay and offer a service, the better I suppose.